Andre Overdahl, when he contacted me, I loved the um, uh, the um, autopsy of Jane Doe, uh, and it's essentially it's almost like a play, and there's it's these people locked in this room, and for him to be able to raise that tension in a very confined space, which is essentially what's happening with this movie on this, well, although a much bigger space and a bigger canvas for Andre this time. Um, uh, and I, th I just thought, okay, I want, I need, I want to work with this guy. And I've, I've done, I, I have this weird uh, attraction to horror movies. I don't know what I've done. The Mummy. I did a wonderful movie called Dog Soldiers about werewolves. And when Dracula comes along, you, you've, you've got to be a hard man to turn down Dracula. Less than a kilometer from where I live is the birth, birthplace, the house uh, that Bram Stoker was born in. So, he, I consider him my neighbour. Um, <laughs> that's a bit of a stretch of the imagination, but you know, there you go. Universal were being very brave because as you could see, they spent money on this. This is a lot of money. This, they, they wanted this to have scope and, and have the bigness of this at the beginning when we're in Bulgaria and then to shrink it down and make this unbearable um, claustrophobia. And one other thing, uh, when you're spending that kind of money, and I have to admire Universal for taking a chance on this, is there's no movie stars in this. There's no, it's not a vehicle for some, you know, huge um, marquee name. Uh, most of the actors in it are, are theater based, and it's a proper ensemble, which is difficult to write for, uh, that all of the characters are beautifully drawn. And on top of that, you've got a monster like Dracula running around the ship killing people. For me, it was a no-brainer. It was a very easy yes.